All right, so what we're about to do is perform a cylinder leak down test. Now we're suspecting that this number four cylinder is losing compression via either piston rings or a valve, whether it be the exhaust or the intake. Now, in order to perform this test, what you're first gonna have to do is remove the spark plugs and your spark plug wires out of each one of the wells. Next, what you're gonna do is you're going to take any of the caps off that hold pressure while the engine is running. And you're gonna do that for the reason of trying to determine exactly where the leak is coming from. If it's coming from piston rings or damage to the cylinder, you're gonna hear the pressure when it's introduced into the cylinder come out of either the oil filler cap or the PCB valve. Now both of these are like not very far apart, so I'm only gonna do the oil filler cap. Now in order to hear the leak if it's coming from the piston rings or either damage to the cylinder, you want to take off the cap. The next place you might have a leak is through the exhaust valve. Now in order to hear if you have the leak through the exhaust valve, the best place to hear it would be from somewhere in the exhaust track exiting the motor. Now on the turbocharged car it's probably going to be the O2 sensor. The upstream O2 sensor would be the best place to hear it. You just remove the O2 sensor, listen for any noise. If you hear it, it's going to be a valve. A lot of people say you can do it from a tailpipe, but I've also heard that it would be too hard to hear because it has so far to travel from the engine going through the manifold, through the catalytic converter, mufflers, out the tailpipe. So the best recommended thing to do is to take out the upstream O2 sensor. If you can't access that easy, then do the downstream O2 sensor. It's still much closer than your tailpipes. Next, what we're going to do is make sure whichever cylinder that you think is losing compression is that top dead center. Now, there's different ways you can do this. A lot of people use the tools or dials that you can get at any store pretty much to make sure that that piston is at top dead center. What most people do is just use something that's long, thin, straight, stick it down through the spark plug hole into the cylinder, make sure it's all the way down to the top of the piston, and then from there, you're gonna turn the crankshaft crank pulley, the bolt on it, until you see it stop at top dead center. Now, it might take a few tries because you do have to set it right at top dead center just before. So, it might take a few tries, but you'll get it. You're going to get whatever size ratchet or wrench you need and turn it on most cars clockwise until you see it reach top dead center. Now when you see it reach there, the stroke is gonna slow down a lot to where it peaks at top dead center. You wanna stop it right before or right at top dead center. Once you do that, which we've already done on this one, you can remove the tool and then hook your gauge up. The next thing you're gonna do, if you're gonna get your tester ready, perform the test. Okay, since you have everything ready, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to hook up your leak down tester to your air hose. You're going to set with the regulator that you want 100 PSI put into the cylinder. You're then going to hook up the adapter to the gauge. Then you can feel it. Then I don't know if you can hear it on video, but it is leaking out the tailpipes. So that would be it's all stuff.
not showing why it's not showing the leakage percentage but no bubbles nothing coming out of here nothing coming out of the So it is bad it's also out.